Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. Uh, so the topic I'm going to cover in today's video or in few upcoming videos is a bit different what I usually do on this channel. Uh, so recently actually there were some sale going on on Udemy and so I decided to buy a few courses from Udemy and uh, so one of the courses that I bought is you know Python for data science and machine learning bootcamp. Uh, so machine learning is uh, almost uh, very uh, new to me and so I've been hearing a lot of uh, you know uh, things about machine learning around me however I never got a chance to you know uh, give it a shot. Uh, so I uh, covered some of the you know first few uh, chapter of this particular series and I thought of you know Mm, I have uh, I am kind of now you know familiar with some of the basic terminologies that are being used uh, by machine learning scientists so mm, since uh, I am trying to uh, learn um, this new thing uh, whenever I try to learn uh, some of the some some new stuffs my approach is always uh, be like you know top to bottom uh, so I first I learn few basics and after that you know I kind of follow top to bottom approach uh, by saying that I mean I try to build some project and whenever I face some obligation I try to you know I take a step back and learn this little or you know small things that is required to get that bigger project done uh, so and the uh, and that is actually that helps me to you know learn things faster and in a in more practical manner uh, so uh, what I have decided to build a project, uh, a basic project using um, and this using the skill set that I'm learning in this particular um, particular course. And uh, since uh, the the project that I decided to build is a simple web application IPS or you can say web application firewall. Uh, so since I have spent initial few career, uh, few years of my career on web application security, I was basically web application penetration tester. I thought of you know uh, giving it a shot. Uh, although I uh, completely aware of that fact that you know threat landscape on web application has changed drastically. Still, I you know I thought I'll it will help me to you know cope up with the new things that are you know coming uh, to web application security domain. So the con concept is pretty simple. Um, uh, the IPS, our uh, the IPS ML best IPS that we're going to build here, uh, build in this particular um, in in this series, is will be sitting right here, and uh, there will be a server, uh, and the IPS will be protecting that server, and it will be actually you know sniffing through all the HTTP requests that are coming from all the users from the from the pub, from public from the internet and it will try to understand and you know uh, and try to detect when uh, some bad http request appears here and it will try to block them so this is a very uh, this is the overall concept uh, so since this is the introductory video um, uh, we won't get into much of the technical stuffs here. We, are, I'm just, uh, you know, here to give you some basic idea what I'm going to do in uh, upcoming few videos. Uh, so, what I, what we're going to do here? The IPS will be a simple HTTP proxy, and uh, and we'll be actually, you know, uh, sniffing through. Uh, all the HTTP requests that are coming to the server using that HTTP proxy. Uh, the, in this particular example, we'll be using Bob Suit, and for machine learning if you are if you have learned some of the you know terminologies so you might have uh, heard these terms training validation and test sets uh, so uh, to be able to uh, uh, to be able to teach a machine uh, uh, what you need is you know training data validation data and test data uh, so we are going to collect all these three sets of data from this particular uh, sorry uh, from this particular proxy uh, so uh, we'll be actually you know uh, will allow configure burp in such a manner that you know it gives us all the you know uh, HTTP logs uh, to a file and we are going to collect the data and we will actually uh, use uh, this data to train our uh, machine learning model and we'll also you know use some data to validate our model and we'll also see if uh, we are able to we are able to you know build that uh, model successfully by testing uh, that model using some of the you know test data that we get in the in uh, from this ips on ips itself uh, so that's the overall concept that we are going to you know um, do in next few videos 
uh so uh, uh and also i would like to give you guys a disclaimer i am completely machine learning is uh something completely new to me i'm learning this so if you have already you know you have if you have already spent some time on it and obviously i assume that you know things better than me uh so if you have if, if any point of time if you feel like you know uh there is something uh, i am you know going into wrong direction or you know i have pointed out wrongly please please feel free to correct me i'll be super happy to learn from you guys so that is the actual goal of this particular making this particular video series so that it actually you know together we can learn things faster and better uh, so that is the only goal that i have uh, you know uh, when actually making this particular video series uh so uh, i am actually super excited for this one so please let me know uh, in the comment section if you are uh, you know if you are excited as well so uh, uh this is going to be a very short video as uh, this is the introductory video uh so from the next video we are we are actually will be getting into the technical stuffs that we are going to do and okay so thank you for your time i'll see you in the next video uh bye bye